Rap superstar Nicki Minaj is one of the best-selling and most popular female artists of all time. But now Minaj has ignited a firestorm for spreading vaccine misinformation, telling her tens of millions of social media followers that her cousin's friend became impotent after getting a shot. Well, that claim has now been debunked and there's no science behind it. So why is the White House offering help? Here's CBS's Nancy Cordes. Rapper Nicki Minaj is known for feuding with other stars like Miley Cyrus and Cardi B, but now she finds herself at odds with the White House. Our hope is that anyone who has a big platform is going to project accurate information. It all started Monday night when the unvaccinated singer tweeted, my cousin in Trinidad won't get the COVID vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. Trinidad and Tobago's health minister debunked that the next day. There is absolutely no reported such side effect or adverse event of testicular swelling in Trinidad or I dare say Dr. Hines anywhere else. None that we know of anywhere else in the world. White House staffers worried that the super bass singer with 23 million Twitter followers might give the vaccine a bad rap. By yesterday, Minaj was claiming she had been invited to the White House. The press secretary said, not quite. Did the White House extend an invitation to Nicki Minaj to come here? We offered a call uh, with Nicki Minaj uh, and one of our doctors to answer questions she had about the safety and effectiveness of the vaccine. Underlying all of this is a serious problem, the persistent online rumors that the COVID vaccine somehow causes impotence, despite the fact that studies have shown there is no link between the two. Nora. And Nancy Cordes, thank you. And we should note, Minaj now says she's going to get the vaccine before she goes on tour.